Good afternoon, YZO Orno and Long Lake. I'm Sun Sailor Community Editor Jared Husengay. Today is Friday, January 23rd, and this is what's going on in your area today. It was a week of honors for a few Orno High School students. Melissa Slagle, a senior advanced art student at Orono High School, received a Merit Award in the Minnesota Scholastic Art Awards, a program sponsored by the Minneapolis College of Art and Design and is open to students in grades 7 through 12. Slagle was honored for her painting, Sam, the Chapter Story. It's a portrait of another OHS student created in a contemporary fashion. Also, two Orono High School football players have been named to the Minnesota Football Coaches Association 2008 Individual Academic All-State Team. Seniors Tyler Hartland and Rob Tunheim are among 17 honorees representing Class 4A. But it wasn't just the students taking home the honors this week. For the second consecutive year, the Minnesota Department of Education honored Orono schools with a finance award. The award is presented to school districts that exhibited fiscal health and sound fiscal management and accountability. For 2009, 63 awards were presented to traditional K-12 school districts. This means 18% of the 340 districts from across the state were distinguished. Department of Education staff reviews local publications, audit reports, and thousands of pieces of fiscal data on reporting districts to determine the award winners. Information submitted by the district include documentation of compliance with state statutes on selected finance issues and demonstration of fiscal health in the local setting. Here's a look at a couple of events taking place in the area this weekend. On Saturday, the Orono Lions will host its 22nd annual Snowball Open with tea times beginning at 10 a.m. on Long Lake. The event is one of the group's largest fundraisers of the year and brings in between four and 500 golfers each year, totaling about $6,000. Most of that money goes directly back into the community. However, some funds do go to Lions International for projects including the Minnesota Eye Bank and diabetes research. On the local level, the Lions have given money over the years to the Long Lake Veterans Memorial in Nelson Lakeside Park and have also given money to help the local senior citizens and local public safety officials. The cost of the event is $20 per golfer per round. More information can be found at www.oranolions.org. On Sunday, a fundraiser for Interfaith Outreach and Community Partners Together for Good Endowment campaign will be held at the Bookcase of Wyzetta, located at 607 East Lake Street from 6.30 to 8 p.m. The event is hosted by Dan and Lynn Fazenden and Bob and Sue Burns and will feature guest speaker LaDonna Hoy, Executive Director of IOCP. For more information, go to www.iocp.org or www.bookcaseofyzetta.com. Taking a look at early next week, both the Orono City Council and Orono Board of Education will meet Monday night at 7 p.m. At the time of this webcast, however, agendas for both meetings were unavailable. And now for the weatherunderground.com forecast. A link to weatherunderground.com can be found on our website, mnsun.com. For the rest of Friday, expect clear skies with highs around 20. Tonight, the cold will be back, however, with lows between 10 and 15 below zero and wind chills falling to between 21 and 31 below zero. A wind chill advisory will be in effect from 9 p.m. Friday until noon on Saturday. For Saturday and Sunday, expect more of the same cold temperatures with highs topping out at 5 and lows dipping to 15 below overnight on both days. For YZ Today and MNSun.com, I'm Jared Husengay, and I'll see you next week.